Hi everyone, welcome to Lepis Compass. Thank you so much for being here. Today we are doing a reading for Libra for the first half of May. We're going to go ahead and pull several messages from different decks and see what comes up for you. Please do keep in mind, Libra, not every message will resonate with every one of you, but your message can come through all the way in the end of the reading. Stick around, let's find out what's going on. Libra, first half of May. What's going on for Libra, please? We have pride coming out. Loneliness is here. And purpose. Okay, all right. Well, let's go ahead and start um, clarifying your cards and see what's going on, starting with the pride energy. What I'm getting here, Libra, is um, there is somebody here either trying to um, fight with you for something, like argue, or there is somebody here who's trying to kind of um, um, gossip about you. I feel like they're almost trying to, I don't want to say ruin your reputation, but in some way there is some rumors going on that is, uh, would have affected you somehow, possibly in a workspace. But what I feel is that uh, you know who you are, you're proud of who you are, and you just way above all of that. You're just not paying attention to it at all. You're calm, you're composed, you're balanced, and uh, you're not paying attention to that at all. I feel like you know that with time it will gonna settle down and the truth will come out. Um, you could be dealing with a water sign. This could be definitely a water sign who's in the distorted energy with that Queen of Cups in reverse. This could be a Pisces, um, a Cancer, a Scorpio here. And like I said, I feel like this person is just trying to somehow uh, affect your reputation in, in not a great way. But you know who you are, you're proud of your achievements, and you are not giving in to this negative energy at all. You know your wish fulfillments will come true in a career, and you are reaching your goals. I think I see this very, very strongly here. So um, that's what's going on. I feel like with time, uh, with patience here, it's just gonna, everything's gonna come out, and you will get the recognition that you deserve. Okay. Libra, let's go ahead and clarify this loneliness. What is that here for? I know that I'm never alone. The world. We have King of Wands and Eight of Swords in reverse. Page of Pentacles and Queen of Pentacles. Um, some of you are going through a separation. Some of you are going through a separation with a fire sign here. I feel like uh, this re uh, this relationship uh, was a little bit codependent here. I feel like uh, you were very much attracted to this person, but this person was almost kind of taking advantage of that. Um, and I do feel that you're going through a separation. Could have been an Aries, could have been a Leo, Sagittarius here. Um, I feel like um, this separation is freeing you in some way. It's freeing you to explore the options. For some of you, it's freeing you to um, just go out there, put yourself out there a little bit more. Yes, it does feel a little bit that, you know, you're going through a separation. You might feel uh, lonely there, but it is a freeing energy. With Eight of Swords in reverse and a wall there is absolutely freeing energy. And you're never alone. There is people around you. And I feel like there is one person uh, who uh, stands out here for you. And the relationship with this person is growing. I feel like you're getting to know this person more and more more and more and um, I feel like this person has uh, a lot more to offer than what you thought in the very beginning I feel like your opinion of this person is growing um, you could have uh, known this person as a friend and now um, this becomes a little bit you become closer with this person I just feel like there is this energy here of you becoming more and more interested in this person could it definitely be an earth sign here and uh, like I said they just growing in your eyes this person is very stable there. I feel like this person does very well financially here. And I do feel like um, they are very um, 
sufficient, very self-sufficient person here. They might, um, you might have thought, you might get this feeling that they're not interested. They might, you might have this feeling that they might be even a little standoffish in some way. Um, there's a bit of an, this energy of kind of um, coming across as, uh, as arrogant that comes from them. But that's not who they are. And I feel like with time, you will get to know them better and your opinion of them is going to evolve in a, in a positive direction. That's what I see. Interesting message there, Libra. Hmm. Okay. Let's go ahead and clarify this purpose. What is that here for? Five of Pentacles. Death and Reapers. Hierophant. Wow. Eight of Cups. Wow. And King of Pentacles. Everything happens for a reason. That's the message that I'm getting here with this card here for you, Libra. And I am getting this energy where there was a relationship that ended. Could have been even a marriage. You could be going through a separation here. And you feel like you were left in the cold. You, you, there is definitely an energy here of being left alone. But you're walking away from this. You're walking away. You, uh, some of you, like I said, you're walking away from a commitment here. With a higher front energy, this could have been a marriage. And this is it. You're walking away. You felt almost kind of like... Um, although you were in connection, but yet you were just um, dissatisfied. There was an energy here of you were not appreciated in this connection here. And I do feel that um, um, this person could have ended the relationship. And now you're fully walking away from it in a way that energetically you're disconnecting from this. But this, this is, has a rebirth on it. Any ending is bringing a new beginning. I know it's a cliche, but that's what it is. And I feel what you're walking towards to in this is this King of Pentacles. It's that earth person that is entering your energy. And I feel like this person is meant to be in your life. This person is meant to be with you. This person is meant to be in your life. You're meant to meet this person. And you're meant to connect to this person. And this is your son. That's your happiness. This is what you're walking towards to. Look out for Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. We see this here for you. It's definitely repeating messages. It's more of a same story being clarified. Very strong energy of an earth sign present there. Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. All right, let's go ahead and clarify. Um, well, let's use the coffee cup oracles and either clarify the messages we received or see what else comes through. Maybe there is another message we need to know for the first half of May for Libra. What is here for Libra? Some of you are learning that um, in some sort of um, competition that you were in, uh, somebody was not playing fair. I feel like um, you're getting this information and this is something to do with money. There, there could be um, a bribe here. I'm getting that energy. Uh, there could have been a, a something done here that, um, yeah, mm -hmm. there could have been something done here that um, was underhanded here for sure. I am getting this energy of that water sign that is coming through and it feels to me like that first message that we've seen, we're kind of uh, circling back to that. Is it, Again, that Pisces, Scorpio or Cancer is coming through here and I do feel that they want, uh, they're doing something that affects your finances. They almost kind of want to leave you in the cold. They want to win at any cost, whatever this competition is. Now, this could be a, um, a competition about um, you know getting some sort of contract. This could be a competition um, and getting some uh, gaining gaining some sort of um, finances financial benefits here this could be a, a competition for a promotion or for a job here i feel like this person is not playing fair there is this person here that is definitely not playing fair i feel like um, they want to win and at all cost here and you will be surprised by it i feel like you will be surprised to know who this person is but it's unfolding this the truth is coming out and i do feel that the offer is given to you this is burdensome and to go through this process is going to be burdensome i do feel a, a bit of a heavy energy that is coming through because it's going to be difficult they're making this competition difficult for you and like i said because they're not playing fair it's even more difficult for you to you know to shed the light on the whole situation and um, um 
make it clear that you either the right person for the job or you're the right person to receive whatever this financial benefits that are here. I do feel that in the end, you will be the one who is rewarded here. I do feel that in the end, luck is going to turn in your favor and things will come out. The truth will come out and eventually you will be the one who is going to be awarded whatever this is here, whatever this gains, whatever this um, benefits are, um, promotion or a new job even something money related for sure uh, but it's like you are collecting harvest in the end you're going through this process here that is heavy that is difficult here but in the end you will be the winner wow okay all right well Libra it's good to know it's good to know all right let's go ahead and uh, just pull some tarot here and see what else we have not mentioned so far Let's see if there's anything else that we need to know. If there's anything else we have not covered. Let's find out. Message for Libra for the first half of May. Yeah, I do feel that some of you are definitely going through a separation here. I do feel that there is a, an energy here that you could have been in a connection that was committed. You could have been in a connection that uh, you were married with a person. Again, could have been that fire sign here. And I feel like you know, uh, you get into know something that this person was not fully honest with you. With this uh, moon energy, they could have been hiding something. They could have been hiding something. They could have been dishonest about something. There could have been some deceit going on here. Definitely um, distorting the truth here. This person was not what you expected them to do or to be, or they were not doing what you expected them to do. Like, I feel like this person um, wasn't honest and uh, that's what's breaking the end, uh, bringing the end uh, to this relationship here. With the Five of Cups, yes, there is an energy of sadness. There is definitely, you're looking at what didn't work out. You're looking at the three cups that are spilled here. And um, there is an energy of sadness and reminiscing about the past and just uh, looking at the situation and thinking, thinking about it. Why it didn't work out? What happened here? How could have been done? How could have this been done better? But what I see is that there is two cups behind you that you need to see. If you just turn around, leave this in the past and turn around, you will see that there is two full cups right behind you here. And that's what you need to be walking towards too. Very cohesive messages for you today. It feels like the stories are repeating and I am talking to the same group of Libras. There's a few different stories, but for the most part, I feel like we've got a lot of confirmation in this reading. I hope these uh, messages were helpful to you and I thank you so much for spending your time with me. I hope to talk to you soon. Bye for now.